Hello and welcome to another openings video. Today we're gonna learn the English opening. Now as someone that's been playing chess for a while, whenever I come up against the English opening, I don't know what to do. So this is a great opportunity for me to learn what the England is trying to achieve and how to best combat it. So without further ado, let's begin. So to start out, the English starts with C4 here, looking to control this D5 square. What you usually see from black is a myriad of different things, but usually you're gonna see E4 or C5. But in this case, let's go with kind of the King's English variation which is going to e4 here the main things that white wants to achieve in this is to push this knight up here to c3 further cementing control of that d5 square and after black pushes up to f6 here we look to fianchetto our bishop so that we can really put all the pressure we want here on this d5 square and stop with black's development so from here what you're trying to do is you basically respond to what your opponent's giving you and play accordingly it's pretty simple for the english in terms of this variation we're not going to go super theory heavy into it just kind of the main points of it so you're, you're you're basically stopping these knights from developing you're stopping for any d5 pawn push because you have the pieces backing up take that as you will for this opening for the english there are a couple different other ways that you can look at playing as this for example after going to c4 here black goes into a king's indian setup so what you want to do in the english for this is just kind of look at what the opponent's giving you if you can tell they're going to a king's indian what you do is you try to take up the middle as much as possible the knight can't take here because you're going to take there and so as they go into the king's indian you just push up this third pawn and they get that bishop set out and instead of fianchettoing here on g2 you're going over here to d3 and really looking to attack the king side as much as possible looking to possibly go up to h4 h5 and from there just playing what your opponent is giving you now the most annoying thing when it comes to playing the english opening is when your opponent just mirrors what you're doing and what I found and what I've learned from looking online at a bunch of different resources is that the best thing to do in this situation is to get into a Botnovic system, which is characterized by putting your pawn over here on D3 and having this little pawn structure here. It makes it really hard for black to really break in and it gives white the advantage because they're always one move ahead. So what we're gonna look at here is now a bullet game I had when playing the English opening. I play bullet games when I'm learning the new openings because it helps me go through the openings quick and kind of go on the main tenants and see if I mess up anywhere. So I review these games after. And so we're going to look at this game I had against a random player where I started with the English opening. They went over here to E6, which I thought was very interesting. It's kind of a sideline when it comes to playing the English, but I just developed accordingly. I, I took what my opponent gave me. He brought the queen out very early, which I thought great. That's going to help me in the long run. And from there, I kind of just tore him up from there. I just responded to every maneuver he did. I got my king safe. I attacked the queen. I then took the pawns here. I then attack the queen here, which forces the queen to retreat, which allows me to take the bishop here. And then I take the rook because there was nowhere for that rook to go. They're trying to fight here on the king side, but I'm just gonna take with this pawn if they do push forward. And then I attack with the queen here. And from there, I get the queen up there trying to get a checkmate. He castles, the only thing he can do to avoid checkmate. I bring it back and I just play smart chess from here. And so from here, obviously time expires. If I had to redo this move over again, I would have just taken with the queen, but I'm in a very commanding position with this English opening. And I think what makes the English such a versatile opening is the fact that you're able to just respond to your opponent's moves. Once you get the basic pieces out, it's helps get, speed up your development. So if you like that video and want to see more chess related content, please like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I come out with openings every week as well as other beginner friendly resources to help you improve your game of chess. You can also follow me at Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zach where I put a lot of these lessons into practice. The links are in the description below. If you have any openings that you think that I should go over that I haven't done on my YouTube channel yet, please drop a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them as quick as possible. In our next video, we're going to be going over the Budapest Gambit. That video will be here and I will see your lovely faces later. Goodbye.